here in just a couple of minutes with hey, Lance Cade coming in. Hey, buddy, you know, a moment ago I was talking about what happened at the showdown at the Nut House, oh, what beautiful yeah. Bobby Eaton had done. Courtesy of the cat. Let's call for that tape. Can we roll it up there, guys? Watch this. Yeah, take a look. Oh, there, oh look at it. Here comes, what in the world? Here comes Eaton and Brandon. All right. Let me get out of here. Sorry. All right. They don't have the tape, and now I know why. He's, he's just ripping the tape to shreds here. Yeah, I just don't. Yeah, I just don't want the fans to see what happened. All right, I'm sure you have your own version of what happened since you've destroyed the evidence. You know what my version of what is not going to be played is? Bobby Eaton has been disrespected in the wrestling business for long enough. Respect is something you earn, and for a while he did that. I'm not sure about this is a way to do it, though. He has earned that respect for his entire career. You can ask the people on the internet. You can ask the people in the wrestling sheet. You can ask the wrestlers in the dressing room, and they will all tell you that they respect beautiful Bobby Eaton. But do you know, Dave, who hasn't shown the proper respect to Bobby Eaton? Any idea who hasn't? I guess you're going to say we haven't, and that Bill Dundee the perhaps. The a professional wrestling haven't, and it all started in Memphis years back. When Bobby Eaton came in here, he was a future superstar. Everybody thought Bobby was the future of the business. But whether he was the first match or the fifth match, he always stole the show. But there were two guys who held Bobby Eaton back. One of him being Jerry Lawler. Shut up! The other one being his father-in-law, Bill Dundee. So I disagree with that. They had him back, so Bobby decided he needed to move on. He needed to go somewhere where he would be respected. So they went to Mid-South Wrestling, to Bill Watts' company in Louisiana. Louisiana yeah. Bill Watts, he was on his butt. Their company was struggling. They were drawing hundreds of people. When the Midnight Express went in there, you know what happened? The territory popped. They put 30,000 people in the New Orleans Superdome. Is that true? That is true, but I'm not sure it was just the arrival of the Midnight Express that did that. Give me the microphone. They are the sole reason why Bill Watts' territory popped. But what happened, Bill Watts? He was greedy. He didn't want to pay them the money that they deserved. So they called up Dusty Rhodes, and they called up Jim Crockett, and they got ready to go to the Carolinas. But what happened? They were told that they had to go to Texas, to world class. They spent six miserable months in world class wrestling, and then they went to the Carolinas. You know what they did there? They went worldwide. They, they allowed Jim Crockett to expand his company worldwide. They had scaffold matches. They went from small buildings to soccer and football stadiums, all because of Bobby Eaton. Well, his history is all very interesting. And he was told that he would have a job with the NWA and WCW for life. He'd have a job for life. Tell him what happened, Bob. Well, Brandon, about a year ago, I'm sitting in my house in Charlotte, North Carolina. I see an old Dean Matt wife of mine out to get my check. She comes back in, there's no check there. So I called the office of WCW. And I asked them where my check was. They said, oh, Bob, you've been released. So that's all fine. That's good. Then once again, last Wednesday night in Jonesboro, Arkansas, I got screwed. Once screwed again. by the cat. You see us up in the run Screwed there. by Lawler. Screwed by Bill Dundee. If that's true, let's see the videotape evidence. No, no. Now the referee seen right in front of his eyes that Jerry Lawler piled dropped me, which is an illegal move. He should have disqualified me. It it's illegal in Tennessee, but you were in Arkansas. Oh, so what I want right now, I want the cat out here. Well, I don't think yet. the cat's even here yet. Uh, she'll be here later on today. We got the bikini contest. She uh, hasn't arrived at the building yet. I have, at least haven't seen her. All right, how about Lawler? Well, Lawler's working for the XFL. He's not even in town today. He's, scared. Remember that? He's, He's scared. not well, scared. He's working for XFL. Bill Dundee. Bill Dundee is scouting for new talent. He's not here today. So well, you're out of luck. What? You're not going to have a show today until I get somebody out here that's in charge. Okay, oh, we are going to have a show no today. No matches, no interviews. We're not leaving until yeah, we get answers. No, well, we're and until he gets respect. We, we're not going anywhere. I better well, get respect out of you. Oh, uh, you'll get respect when you earn it, like I tell you. And you're not earning it very well by tearing up videotapes that we were going to show to show what happened. All right, you want somebody in authority? 
How about the owner, the founder, the president? Right now, to get out of here right now. We have a show to do, matches to do. Thank you. We're not going to put up with this anymore. Hey, will you do me a favor? Will you turn around and run out there so I can yell, Run, Forrest, run! Okay. You're Very not funny. Yeah, that is Very funny. funny. You're a jerk. You've been a jerk for five years. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Eden, we have a TV show to do. Get out of here now. Hey, I want the man in charge, Commissioner Bill Dundee, out here right now. Commissioner's not here. This is the owner. He's the boss of the let commissioner. Oh, you're the owner. Wait, yeah, first you're one, the owner. Let me say this. Well, let say, me it. say this. 18 years ago, I was an 18-year-old kid, right? 18-year-old kid, ring announcer. I'm not a kid. I'm not an announcer. I own this company, Bobby. Oh, you're the owner. You're exactly you're right. I'm not going to put up with you. I'm hey. not going to put up with you. Hey, I'm going to tell you to get out of here. You're not going to run over him or anybody else. We're tired of this. Oh, I know. You're just stuff. like Jerry Jett. You're like Eddie Marlin. Bill Watts, Terry Golden, Fritz von Erich, Dusty Rhodes, Jim Crockett, you're all a bunch of scumbags. Hey, right, right, that's not get out of here. Get on. Come on. Brandon. Hey, come on, guys. Let's ring the bell back in. Hey. Bobby Eaton just jumped on Jesus. Randy. Totally uncalled for. Yeah, it's uncalled for. Randy's not yeah. arrested. You don't earn respect like that, let me tell you, Eaton. Come on, leave him alone. Brandon Fox and Bobby Eaton. Here comes, comes the referee. referee. Yeah, uh oh, look in. out. Eaton grabs him. Oh, no. Hey. Call the ref out. I'm going to treat our officials like that, Eaton. No, that ain't the right way to treat the guy. He runs in there to help him out. He just throws him out of there. Yeah, you don't get respect like this. Here comes some help, too. But. Oh, they threw oh. him out of there, yeah. He's thrown out of the ring. Well, it's going to take more than one guy at a time to get these little yeah. chicks off. Uh oh, Bobby, he's Bobby man, just, just nailing him. everybody. Yeah. Here comes some more Push help. him over the top. Come on, Bobby. Oh, oh goodness. Here comes the Bulldog. That'll help even things up. Keeping everybody out. Here comes Bradley. Oh, here comes Steve Bradley. The Bulldog. Oh, come on. No help for Randy by all of this going on. That and now Baxter. Worse. Baxter back over to Randy, and there's Eaton. Look at this. Eaton dragging Randy Howells by his suit coat and by his pants. Pulls him over near the corner. Oh, he's going to climb for that rope, Dave. That's that Alabama jam. We don't need that. Uh, Come on, Bobby. No. There he is. Oh, oh my goodness. Man, he well, that big oh, leg man. drop. He landed right on top of Randy. Come on. Get him out of there. Yeah, grab him, Corey. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Oh, well, now, now Bradley grabs him and, and hey. Hey, hey, hey. Get security over here. Get out, get out of the ring now or we're calling the police and we're taking you out. You get out of the ring now, we're gonna call the police and take you out of here. Get out of the ring. Out. Help him, help him out of here. Out. Get out of the studio. Out of here. Yeah, you don't get respect that way, you get out of here. What do we got? <laughs>